Welcome back to the Don't Call Me Skinny podcast. Another Muscle Monday coming for you. It's time to bridge the gap for women and weights. Muscle Monday is all about the do's, the don'ts, the whys, and the why nots of strength training, lifting, and all things gym. If you like what you hear, be sure to rate it, review it, and share it with a friend. Let's hit the weights. Hello, good morning. I am actually recording this on Monday, so it is late, and I don't care. It is my podcast. I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. You know what I mean? I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Okay, so here's the deal. Um, this last weekend, I just had, you've maybe seen my stories on Instagram, but I have spent a, an amazing weekend with amazing women, some new, some I've already known, um, some that traveled from, you know, Arizona and Florida and all over the world, or not the world country, I should say, which is still the world, I guess, but um, to step into a better version of themselves, a bigger version of themselves, I maybe call it stepping out, stepping in. I'm not really sure which to go, like step out of your comfort zone, but step into your best self. I'm not sure which way to spin that word, but, um, or that phrase, but I, I love, I love that piece. I love that. Um, and I loved being able to pour into other women this weekend and really meet people. It's actually kind of cool. We got to, um, one of the exercises that one of the speakers had us do was find somebody we didn't know, hold hands with them and tell them like our biggest like want and desire and that was exciting and also really scary because you know I I've only told a few people what my biggest want and desires are I keep oh my goodness I keep putting it out there and it keeps you know getting I don't I don't want to say turned down I don't want to say I haven't been told I only keep getting told no but I want to say I haven't been told yes yet. And until that moment happens, like I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not like going to panic about it. Eventually, you know, like somebody said yesterday, this really hit me yesterday. It went, it it will go from a no to a maybe to a yes. It's just a matter of finding who's going to say the yes. Right. And so it was pretty scary, you know, to verbally put out into the world this piece. And I know this has nothing to do with Muscle Monday, but it is really it, it, this can be for anything. And I talk a lot in the business realm and the fitness and health well realm, but this could be anything. So the lady that I actually met yesterday, she works for a company. Um, and so she's like, I don't have this like big thing because I, you know, I'm kind of tied and bound and she made personal goals for herself. And I thought that was really impressive. So it's applicable without having to be business specific. Um, And so that was exciting for her to share with me. You know, like we don't really know each other. We were sitting next to each other. So we had a little bit of conversation. I'm a chatty person. But outside of that, it's like, I don't know anything about that. I don't know if she's married. I don't know if she has children. I I don't know if she has like a nine to five job. I, I don't know anything about her except what she wants to do personally for her personal growth. And I thought that was really inspiring and epic that we got to share this piece with each other. So, um, my weekend was amazing. I hope you guys had a great week. Also weekend, um, also go blue Michigan one. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Um, I know like college football is coming towards the close and, and NFL even like we're a big football family. And so it's kind of what we consume our weekend with now. Um, and my son did really, really good at the swim meet too. So I was really proud of him. Thank God dad was able to take them and I got video updates and we have this little mobile app that tells us, you know, when they swim, what their, their cuts are and what their times are. So I was able to kind of keep up and keep track. So that was exciting as well. Um, so today on Muscle Monday, now that we're going to get to the nitty gritty, I'm going to go ahead and talk about, uh, oh, hey, one last thing. If you want to join in the basics, bitch, <laughs> real quick challenge, free challenge happening in my free Facebook group. The link is going to be here in the show notes. Please join in. You have by the end of the day today to get in. It's literally one thing. That's it. Nothing more. We're focusing on one thing for the eight, next eight days of October. So very excited. If you want to join in there, there's already, I think like 11 maybe women that are going in to that space so far. You get to win a 30 minute one-on-one with me. And from there, then you get access to my training app and we get to focus on some, maybe one habit, maybe two habits that you really want to work through for four weeks. Um, and see where you're at with your health journey. So I'm real excited for that. But okay, now back to Muscle Monday. I I am very excited about the the movement challenge because I need to get moving. I'm not going to lie. 
And so, so outside of that, please join if you're, if you're interested, if you have questions, also reach out. Okay. So muscle Monday, this has been, um, something I've wanted to talk about for a little while because this used to be me. Um, this used to be, I would strive for, um, and there was even a point in time that I were, I was doing two workouts a day and I'm not talking just like a 30 minute treadmill session, but I'm talking about full blown high intensity or heavy lifting weight training workouts. Like this was no, no joke workout stuff. Okay. And let's talk about chasing a calorie goal when we're training. I see this all the time. Again, it used to be me as well. It's like, oh my gosh, I burned like 742 calories at Orange Theory today, I got 6,400 splat points, or my watch said I burned 432 calories today during my hip boot camp training session, right? We have this idea that we should be chasing a number when it comes to calories lost during a workout. And I'm going to tell you this, if you got caught in this, if you're caught in it currently, If you are anything like me, you're going to be like, yes, yes. The more calories I can burn, the more food I can eat, or the more weight I'm going to lose. Like one or the other, like, right? Like I can eat more food and, or I'm going to lose more weight if I burn more calories. That is the thought process here. And I'm here to tell you, like me, I was very sad when I found out that shit is so fucking inaccurate. (laughs) I was like, you got to be kidding me. But wait, calories in versus calories out. And I just burned 1,700 calories in my Orange Theory session after I did my weight training session. You cannot tell me that I shouldn't be losing weight. You tell me all the time, all you people out there, all you fitness folks, that it's calories in versus calories out. So the more calories I burn in my training sessions, the more weight I should be losing. That is the thought process but that is not how this works. And that is really hard to accept because I just told you, I, before I became a trainer, before I became a trainer, probably, okay, I got my certification in February of 2019 to be a trainer. And in May of 2019, I audition to be an Orange Theory Fitness coach. I had been going to Orange Theory Fitness and I was legit going to work out at the gym, lifting big weights. I'm not, you know me, I don't lift, you know, five pound dumbbells, nothing wrong if that's what you do, but you are capable of more, I'm sure. And I will encourage always for you to do more. But I wasn't lifting baby weights. I was lifting heavy weight like I am now, big weights, okay? And then I would drink a protein shake, And then I would head and drive straight to Orange Theory. And I would do a class. And I did this, I don't remember, I think I did the Unlimited. So I, I think I went three or four times a week on top of the training session. Maybe, maybe it was twice a week that I had. Maybe I had eight, eight times a month. Maybe that's what it was. Either way, (laughs) I was just like, I'm going to burn all these calories and I'm going to lose all this weight. And I thought that's how it was going to work. Well, guess what was happening? I wasn't losing weight. I was fucking exhausted. I was tired. I was cranky. I was hungry. Like, why am I not losing weight though? Like calories in, calories out. Like that's the basis, right? This is, I, I hadn't even started training people yet. I hadn't even known, you know, I just, you know, my personal training book, I hadn't taken an actual nutrition class yet. Nothing. I'm just like, yeah, calories in versus calories out. I know that's how this works. This is the science. This is you outside of anything else. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter the method calories in versus calories out. I am outputting a fuck ton of calories. That is the thing. I'm, I'm outputting a fuck ton of shit. Why is this not working? Right? It's like, damn. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> it's just not how it works. I'm like, okay. The moment I, so then, here's a fun fact. I broke my foot. I dropped a 45-pound plate. I paused my um, membership at Orange Theory. I continued to work out and train. Even with my broken foot, I would train upper body. About two weeks after I broke my foot, I started maybe three going back 
even though I was non-weight bearing, I'd crutch it around. I'm like, okay, I can train biceps and I can train triceps and I can train my chest and my back and all these things. And so I, that's what I did. And the funnier part about this is I really thought during this time I was going to gain a lot of weight because I wasn't moving. I wasn't moving a lot. And we all know it's output. Output. You have to be doing more than what you're inputting to lose weight. And I only gained about four pounds. I was really shocked and pretty proud of myself because I was eating one cupcake a day at minimum. I was like, I, I like these. The hostess had these birthday, these 50th anniversary birthday cupcakes. Fucking amazing. So fucking terrible full of chemicals. Don't give a shit. I was like, these are the fucking best things since sliced bread, dude. These things taste so fucking good. And I would eat at least one a day. And so cool. Like, all right, got it. And I was really shocked that I didn't gain a fuck ton of weight. I was paranoid. I was so terrified, but here's the deal. The reality of the situation is I, I still wasn't eating for the most part, like an asshole. Now, one thing I was super paying attention to was the amount of protein I consumed. Why? Well, protein helps strengthen bones, ligaments, joints, tendons, all those things. Okay? And so for that, it that's what it had to be. It it and so I was like really filling on protein. My output was super duper low. It was so low. I do, I don't I don't even know how low it was. I mean, I wasn't getting in steps. I wasn't doing anything. My output was so low, but I wasn't gaining weight. I was definitely retaining water, right? That's going to happen. Like my foot was like the size of like a fucking beach ball. Okay. I was definitely retaining water and my body needed food to heal itself properly. My body needed food to um, do what it needed to do. And I was sleeping a lot. So my output, like it just went cut in half, just toast, done, nothing compared to my training plus orange theory, right? We are so focused on catching a calorie burn at the gym. Like, oh, I'm going to go, I'm going to burn all these calories and I can lose all this weight. That's not how this process works. That's not how this process works like at all. When we're at the gym, the goal at the gym should be strength, getting stronger. The goal should not be chasing the calorie burn. Oh, I got, I got it. Even, even, oh, even when I had my first like really good, nice, I bought a Samsung fit, what, fitness watch. It was so nice. And it was like all these, like, it was, it was great and amazing. Um, I was like, okay, I should be able to hit X amount of calories by this time. I need to be able to hit X amount of calories by one hour. If I don't hit 300 calories, by the time I get my one hour in, I'm behind. I'm, I'm, I'm really behind. And I can't, I can't stop until I get that 300 because that 300, you know, I don't know what the fuck it was about 300, but that, that was my mindset. And you guys, this wasn't that long ago. It's 20, almost 24, fair, right? This was 2019. That's only four years ago. Y'all, I'm not that far removed from where y'all are at right now. I think, you know, even the, this was talked about yesterday, and here we go. But we'll bring some of that in. Like, just because I have a podcast and I run a business, y'all, I still struggle with the same shit. In fact, so much so that I just bought a program from another coach all about mindset. Why? Because I sometimes have a fucked mindset. I'd like to be better at it. Do I have a better mindset than some? Sure, absolutely. Fuck yeah, I do. Can mine be better? Fuck yeah, it can. Is this going to improve my coaching? Absolutely. Is this going to improve my own um, level of life? Absolutely. Just because I'm a coach doesn't mean I don't struggle with the same shit. And granted, during that time, I wasn't necessarily coaching. Okay, let's be honest. Let's be fair. You know what? I can't remember if I had had my new my precision nutrition certification or not. I did do precision nutrition after we moved into this house, but I don't recall when exactly that was. Maybe 2020, beginning of 2020. I don't exactly remember. Or it was or maybe end of 2019. Either way, I wasn't really um certified. I I was either just certified or going to get certified for nutrition as far as 
as that training went, but I I only really had my personal training certification. So I was lacking a lot of fucking education and a lot of information. And here I am just trying to beat out this calorie burn, get as many splat points as I can. You guys, when I talk about orange theory fitness and I talk about these other hip boot, I fucking did it all. I'm not like, like trying to be mean about it or tell you that you're wrong, but I've already done it. My, my hope is that I'm stopping you from fucking wasting time trying to do shit that's not going to work. That's my hope. That's my goal. I've been there. I did it already. I, take it from somebody who gets it. Somebody who's lost 80 pounds, maintained the weight loss and doing it, you know, I'm not losing 80 pounds again, but I'm still losing weight again. That's part of this process for me after my bulk, right? So take it from somebody who's been there. It's, we are chasing this number in the gym and we should be chasing the number on the barbell, on the dumbbell, on the machine. How many more blocks can I go down? Obviously with good form, obviously appropriately with proper progressive overload and a proper programming that, that moves the way it's supposed to do. I don't, that did not make sense, but like progress the way it should. (laughs) That was like, that was the worst thing I just said. Um, because without those things, that's where we fucking run into issues. But we know better. I knew better. I knew better because I know it's calories in versus calories out. I know this. I, you don't have to tell me. I don't need some fitness guru to tell me. I know, I know, I know. I thought. The number in the gym that we should be concerned about and the only numbers that we should be concerned about at the gym are how much weight are we lifting? Are we progressing? Are we getting stronger? Getting stronger. Everybody's like, oh, you want to lose fat and put on muscle. Then go fucking lift in a gym. You are not going to lose fat and gain muscle. Sorry at Orange Theory Fitness. I don't give a fuck how many calories you burn. Doesn't matter. I don't care. You're not going to get there. You're not going to get there. I don't care. And you can, you can sit here and say, I did it though. Okay. I'd love to see just orange theory fitness training, a before and after of somebody who's lost a fuck ton of weight and put on a fuck ton of muscle. I would love to see it. If you know somebody, please, I'd love to see it. They are an anomaly. I am in an orange theory group and all I hear or see people post, and this isn't just go for orange theory. It's just what I am. I was a part of, so I can speak to it with experience. I went to go be a trainer for it, so I can speak to that experience. And I know all the boot camp, all the F45, the burn fitness, I, I get it all. The burn body fitness or whatever the fuck that shit is. Well, I looked into being a coach there and all, all sorts of stuff, right? Like I did it all, I, I so I get it. So I'm not like picking on Orange Theory. It's just my own personal experience here, okay? But I'm in these groups where people continuously complain that they're not getting the results that they want. And you want to know what those other diehard Orange Theory people are saying? Just keep going. You're not doing it good enough. You got to make sure your diet's under control. You got to make sure this. No, it's probably a combination of all that shit, including it's not required. You don't need to go do that. You don't. You don't need to go do that to lose weight. You don't have to burn your body into the fucking ground to lose weight. You don't. I know a lot of coaches that are coaching now that used to coach for Orange Theory, and there's a reason that they don't coach there anymore. It's all great. It's dandy. It's a paycheck. It's a job. You get to have a community. You get to be around human beings, and the goal is to change their life. But once you realize you're not changing lives, you're kind of like, hmm, (laughs) meh. Maybe this, this is exactly part of the reason why I'm so glad I ended up not working at that little boutique gym anymore. Same concept. I'm just there to tell people what the fuck to do. They don't give a shit about if they're making progress. There's no keeping track of how much you lifted this week to compared to last week. There's no consistent programming. There is nothing that shows them and tells them and helps them to know that they're moving in the direction that they need to go. We're just there to fucking burn calories and beat their bodies into the ground. 
And this is what I told somebody yesterday, why I stopped working there. I wasn't helping people. They didn't give a shit. I don't want to not help people. That is why I went into this. I want to help somebody that was me. I want to help the mom. I want to help the woman who is stuck, who has tried everything and nothing is working for her. And she feels that and she believes that because that is her truth and that is her reality is that that is what she believes. That is my goal is to be a helper. I don't want to just be the person that's like, okay, you got a hundred squats, back squats with a barbell, no rest. Anytime you rest, you have to push up, do push ups. Yes, that was a legit exercise that I had to tell people to do or, or not exercise, but like a, an actual like set of a hundred back squats, no rest. If you had to rack the bar, you had to do push ups negligent, terrible, unfucking necessary. But hey, don't worry. We just burned a fuck ton of calories. And then that same woman or mom is going to go home and fucking starve herself because that's what she thinks she needs to do to lose weight. But don't worry. She burned a lot of calories. We need to focus on getting strong. You need to do that by having a proper program. You, I don't care if it's one that you even go buy. Typically you can go buy like a 12 week program and it's like, boom, there you go. Typically it'll move you. It'll progress you through what you need to go through. That's fine. Stick with it for all 12 weeks. Excellent. Perfect. I'm not telling you to buy from me. I'm telling you to get a proper program that is going to set you up for success. That is the key. That is a piece that you are missing that you need to have. That's number one, right? Number two, stop paying attention to the number on your watch, to the number on your fucking chest band and the big screen up there and the splat points that you're getting and blah, blah, blah. That doesn't matter. None of that matters. You can still lose weight and not go to Orange Theory. You can still lose weight with going, oh, geez, going to Orange Theory. You can still lose weight with lots of things. You don't have to burn your body down and literally tear it apart to get the results that you want. That's not required. It's not necessary. It's not even remotely ideal or smart in a lot of ways just to get calories out so that way that you can lose weight. It's just not ideal, guys. So if you're looking for that, we are starting. And it can be as little as joining the challenge, the basics, bitch. That is who I am. It is what I do. We are focusing on the basics one motherfucking thing at a time. We cannot be doing all this stuff. If you are a person that has been sitting on the sideline and not active in the game, don't try to do 55 things at fucking one time. Start with one, join the challenge, commit to eight days. Let's do it. Links in the show notes, links in the show notes. So I cannot wait to see you guys in there. I'm super duper excited to get this going, to get this launched. November will be a different challenge. I haven't decided. I'm probably gonna let people, oh my gosh, that is effing annoying. Um, I'm probably going to let people in my Facebook Facebook group pick the other four, like pick what we're going to do in November. So there's four other basics outside of movement. I'm going to have and allow them to vote to see what they want to do and what they have it they want to focus, focus on in the month of November. And I'm going to create that challenge. So you can join the Facebook group, even if this isn't the challenge you want to be a part of, or you're quote too busy, which I'm going to challenge that. Um, there's going to be another challenge and another challenge. And we're going to always focus on the basics because at the end of the day, the basics are what fucking matter. Not the calorie burn that you're getting on your watch. That doesn't matter. That doesn't define who you are. Because if you can't get a walk in, it doesn't matter how many calories you're burning. Doesn't matter. Okay. 
So on that note, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic Monday. Sorry this is late, but it's here and I'm excited about it. So that's what fucking matters. If you guys have questions, please feel free to reach out. Don't forget there's always a, an anonymous Muscle Monday form in the show notes as well. You can click that and you can ask any question you want anonymously. So, and I also do that on my Instagram stories. I'm going to start taking some of those questions and putting them up here. Um, so on that note, you guys have a fantastic Monday. Catch you on Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate your time. And if you like what you heard, please be sure to screenshot and share it with others who may enjoy it too. Don't forget to click the link in the show notes to see the ways that we can work together to start your journey. Always remember that every day is a new day to do better, be better, and begin again.